Hello and welcome to the United Stand. It's our second uh, transfer vlog of the year. Uh, half past six if you're watching us live, good morning. If not, watching us on the way to work later in the morning, get involved. Let's just fly in with something a bit left field straight away. There's quite some big ones to get through very quickly this morning, but let's talk uh, about uh, Jordan Bedu and Callum Styles. You've probably never heard of them. They've uh, broken through into the Berry first team this year. They are in League One. Uh, Callum Styles is 16. Jordan Bedu is 17. Apparently, Manchester United are looking at them. Berry's not too far away from Manchester. Wouldn't be that far to send our scouts to. So keep an eye on that. We have signed some young talent recently, haven't we? Especially across Europe when you think about the likes of Chang and a couple of others. Uh, we bought, uh, I forget his name, the American lad uh, last season as well. So you never know, there might be something in that. But the main one I want to talk about today, you might surprise a few people, you might have read it yourselves. Michael Carrick out of contract. Well, he's not out of contract quite, but he's out of contract in the summer. And he's currently free to, uh, to sign for uh, any other club if he wants to. Unlikely at 35 years of old, unlikely at 35 years of age. Unlikely when he is a key part of Manchester United squad and Manchester United's first team, in fact. And Manchester United are probably the form team behind Chelsea in the Premier League at the moment and definitely going places. So I don't think it's um, anything to be concerned about, but it is factual. He is um, he is in that last six months of his contract now. And in the January, you are free to talk to other clubs. Manchester United have not offered, offered him another contract yet, which in itself is quite... A concern, but you don't know what's going on behind closed scenes. Uh, Michael Carrick is obviously a model professional. Uh, I think he gets Manchester United for sure, and uh, he would like to stay for another year. And he's probably been told he's going to stay for another year. Uh, the club probably just needs to pull its finger out a little bit and get him to sign for another year because we were talking last night on the transfer show about how Carrick's irreplaceable. He certainly is. Um, he's certainly got another year in him, so it's uh, it would be baffling not to offer him that other year and let him go for nothing in the summer. So keep an eye on that. He is free to talk to other clubs. I'm sure he'll be staying. Um, I wouldn't be too concerned about it, but slightly surprised United haven't offered him a new contract yet. Morgan Schneidling, very quickly. Uh, Manchester United are holding out for over 20 million, as we expected them to. Uh, West Brom and Everton are the clubs that are meant to be in for him. Uh, Marseille from France apparently wouldn't mind him as well and are quite happy to pay the £20 million. So expect something to happen with Schneiderlin sooner rather than later. Um, I think Memphis will go, but it's a bit quiet on him at the moment. Um, Lindelof, yes. Well, we, it wouldn't be a transfer show if we didn't mention Lindelof. Um, sorry, I've just had a shower in my head. My scalp's quite itchy this morning. I don't know why. Um, get on the head and shoulders. No, Joe, Joe Art uses that. Not going to pay uh, any money towards that clown. But um, Victor Lindelof, um, not a lot about him today. Uh, the sort of going done deal again, which is what we've been saying for a couple of weeks. But I wouldn't read too much into the press about it because it's the lights of the Daily Star and the Sun. So it doesn't really hell of, mean a hell of a lot. But I would expect something to be happening with Lindelof in the next few days, um, one way or another. Um, I still think it's going to happen. But um, if it's not going to happen, I think uh, something will happen if that makes sense, in the next couple of days. Some people are saying Thursday. It might well be a Thursday deal, but I think he's going to come to United and, and I think uh, we will hear something on that in the next couple of days. It's always interesting to think if there's going to be somebody else. At the moment, not a lot going on, but I still think maybe a right-back might happen in January and my bets would be Benfica, Semadu or Karsdorp at Feyenoord. I uh, got it right today instead of, uh, I was tired yesterday. I said Samadou was at Feyenoord, he's not. Karsdorp is and Samadou is at Benfica, so that could happen. Um, and interestingly, just uh, just slightly still United theme, but slightly a little bit different in the press, is Pep Guardiola coming out and saying that it's going to take 10 years for City to go past Manchester United because of the size and history of the club. Well, one, Pep Guardiola is not going to be there in 10 years, so it's another... Um, another uh, negative comment and two it's not going to take 10 years it's going to take probably a lifetime of City beating Manchester United consistently to get anywhere near Manchester United because what people seem to forget is they think that we are a mercenary club like Chelsea or City that just started 20 years before everybody else Manchester United has been a, a major club for decades you know nearly you know a century longer than that um, but consistently winning trophies for decades um, in the hearts of the nation and the world for, what, 60, 70 years. Um, it's a dynasty. It's the greatest story ever told. And Man City, to think that they can replicate that in 10 years, they're having a laugh. I think it just sort of like makes their fans feel slightly better that, oh, in 10 years we'll have the same amount of fans, we'll have the same amount of history. 
you can't buy it. It's going to take a long, long time. I think City are always going to be competitive while they chuck money at it, but a lot of other clubs are doing that now, and in a way that's a good thing because it uh, dilutes what they're trying to do. But 10 years to take over Manchester United. How many times have we heard that? I remember hearing it about 30 years ago um, with Liverpool. I remember it, not, not Liverpool. I don't know why Liverpool are in it, I'm tired. But I remember hearing it about 50, 20 years ago with Chelsea when they came on the scene. You know, Chelsea have been consistently a top four side for 20 odd years, haven't they? But they're still nowhere near the size of Manchester United. They haven't even got a ground to compete with Arsenal. So it's 10 years while they're rubbish. But transfers wise, I think we'll get a, I think it's going to be an interesting day. Um, if you're watching this this morning, then obviously you'll know that we'll be doing this every morning around this time uh, for you throughout January. And if there are any transfers, we'll break the, with a live vlog. So that's, uh, that's covered. And tonight we'll be live at half past eight. So join us live tonight at half eight. I think it's a Skype Goldbridge show tonight. So it's your show to dictate. I'm sure we'll be talking transfers, but join us for that. Have a great day. Um, and uh, I shall speak to you very soon. Thanks for watching. Drop us a like if you like this format and get comments in below if you think there's anything you want us to cover in the future.